Hey guys, Balkan Architect here, and today's topic within the advanced BIM analysis is focused on a common data environment, Bexel CDE. As we all know, collaboration and information exchange are very important to the overall project success. Bexel cloud-based common data environment uh, provides us with a single source of truth, enabling easy access, overview, managing projects and its versions, including all data, geometry, analysis and documentation for each project stage from design to facility maintenance. Project participants, access rights, roles and permissions are defined within the access management where each team or lead have access to corresponding documentation or part of the project depending on the role on the project. That way, each stakeholder has the right information, the right BIM model version, documentation, analysis at the right time. Bexel CDE is configured that way to fit best to the client and project needs. So, how does it work? Within the cloud-based platform, there are a couple of modules that together make a holistic CDE solution, but each of them can be combined depending on project's needs. So, Bexel CDE is a basis and required platform for all other modules, where the user is managing access rights, projects, their versions, and so on. Other modules are Bexel Viewer, Bexel Docs, Bexel Facility Maintenance, and Bexel Portfolio Manager. All these modules are connected with Bexel Export tools, so all BIM models, analysis, and reports can be extracted and published from the Bexel Manager. Bexel CDE is, as I said in the beginning, a common data environment, not just a document system for versioning and archiving project files. So Bexel CDE combines the BIM model, data layer, integrated Bexel Manager workflows for 3D, 4D, and 5D BIM, advanced analytics, and reports in a single source of truth. Let's jump into the platform and explore how it works. First, I will show you how to create a new project and add IFC files to project version. This is the homepage of Bexel CDE, or as I said in the beginning, the access management page. Here you can manage user roles and permissions, manage versions, create a new project and new project version. I will create a new project by clicking on the button on upper left corner, name it and add description optionally. Then I will click on manage version button to create new project version. Type a name of the version and click on create new button. By clicking on the open button, current version will be open. Now I will add IFC files by selecting them within the window form and hitting the open button. After upload is finished, I have checked my email and refreshed the Bexel CDE page. Now I will upload all sources at once. So I can overview my IFC files, uh, check the design data layer of each selected elements and a lot more. All Bexel viewer functionalities are explained in one of my previous videos within the advanced BIM analysis chapter and you can find the link to that in the description. Now I want to show you the workflow of how to publish the project and project version from Bexel Manager. By clicking on the Publish button, you can create a new project and add a project to existing one. In this case, the software has automatically recognized that the project name uh, I have created uh, one within the previous step. I will change the version name to V1, keep checked Publish Selection Sets field from Bexel Manager and hit Publish. After the publishing process is done, uh, which is less than a minute for this model, I will refre refresh the CDE page within the browser and click on the Manage Versions button. 
By clicking on the open button, the published version will be opened in a new tab. I will load all sources. Uh, now I can explore the model as I have shown before in this video. And now I want to show you features available within the Bexel CDE modules. To understand all possibilities, I will use the Bexel sample model with some documents and FM structure to speed up the process. Search option, uh, you can easily filter, locate, and download documents using a search box. By clicking on the document, the file is open directly in the browser. Easily navigate through document structure, add a file by choosing the desired folder and click on add files button. Uh, select the file and optionally add a description. Uh, finish the process by clicking on the check in uh, button. As I said in the beginning, you can link documents with BIM model elements and group of elements. You can select desired elements directly from Bexel Viewer or use selection set structure to automatically add documents to multiple files. I have chosen, for example, facade louvers from the Uniformat classification selection set structure. Navigate to the desired document and click on the link button. To check which document is linked to the selected element, check the filter by element selection box. I have to mention that document management is project-based, not version-based, and elements are linked to documents by element IDs. That means all future versions of the BIM model will not override document and BIM element connections as long as element IDs remains the same. Also, you are able to replace files. Uh, dialog is pretty much the same as add files dialog. I will type the description and click check in button. Document history is available for all files throughout the project lifecycle. Uh, this was Bexel uh, Docs module. Let's now go to Bexel FM. Uh, complete facility management is integrated within the BIM environment within a cloud-based CDE. Uh, to add uh, a new FM plan, click on Create New button. Same as within Bexel Docs, by selecting the plan, elements linked to the current selection will be automatically highlighted within the viewer, but you need to check the Show in Viewer box before selecting the plan. To manage already created uh, plans and activities, click on the Edit Plan button next to the FM plan name. Here you can define or edit FM code, name, general settings as calendar, cost, FM, uh, plan range, uh, maintenance pattern, uh, it is uh, yearly, monthly, daily, etc. You can add notes, attach and explore documents, save viewpoints, uh, activate notifications and subscribe to them. By checking filter by element selection, I'm activating the option for filtering FM plans which are attached to selected elements within the viewer. FM module is linked to the Bexel Docs module, so if we click on Edit Plan and go to the Documents tab, we can check the document attached to current element. Anytime we can remove or create links uh, between elements and plans. Uh, in this example, the selected plan has five uh, linked elements. By clicking on the uh, unlink button, we can notice automatic changes within the elements column. Now I will select one of the elements and link it to the plan. The element count is now one. If you have watched a video about Bexel Viewer and its functionalities, you're familiar with the color coding and scenes. Just a quick reminder, within a viewer, you can color code any element or group of elements and save the color coded scheme on desired selection set folder by clicking on the save scene option. Uh, the save scene, which I'm showing right now, is uh, applied to the FM plan folder, so we can visually check, analyze, and compare maintenance plans and corresponding elements by time interval. In parallel, by selecting elements or group of elements, the plan listed below are automatically filtered.
The next part or module is BIM reporting. Within the reporting tab, you can create direct link to any created report in the project. In this example, links are Power BI a plus Bexel Viewer dashboard for Bexel Sample Project. All about this kind of reporting is explained also within the Advanced BIM Analysis chapter and the link to that you can find in the description. On the top right corner, there is a direct link to Bexel Portfolio Manager reporting engine for multi-project and multi-version analytics. All about this module is covered in my previous video. Please find the link to that as well in the description. So, as a conclusion, different combinations of Bexel CDE modules will suit the corresponding stakeholders or phase of the project. Combination 1, Bexel CDE plus Bexel Viewer, will give you the ability to create a BIM model from IFC or point cloud files, review a BIM model, organize the project and its data using flexible uh, selection set structures, exchange annotations and issues via BCF, review collisions, play 4D simulations, and of course manage user roles and permissions, projects and its versions within the CDE module. Bexel Docs with the Bexel CDE is another combination designed for standard document management. But if you add the Bexel Viewer to this combination, you are getting a new level of document management where you can link the corresponding documents to BIM model elements and groups of elements. So with Bexel CDE plus Bexel Viewer plus Bexel Docs, a complete document management system is integrated within the BIM environment within a cloud. The next combination, Bexel Facility Management, also can work with or without Bexel Viewer. CDE module, as I have mentioned before, is required with all functionalities listed before. In combination, without a viewer, the user is able to manage FM activities and plans, schedule maintenance tasks, uh, plan and monitor maintenance costs, and so on. But with the Bexel Viewer module included, besides mentioned features, complete facility maintenance is integrated within the BIM environment and FM plans, activities and entries are linked to the BIM elements and groups of elements. The Bexel Portfolio Manager module is designed for a construction portfolio management to analyze projects on multi-version and multi-project levels. Covering analysis from designed to as-built phase, the Bexel Portfolio Manager module will suit each combination with other cloud-based modules. As I said, all Bexel Portfolio Manager functionalities are covered within my previous video on advanced BIM analysis and the link to that will be in the description just below this video. Uh, now for a holistic approach, a combination of all cloud modules will cover the overall project lifecycle. And that will be it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And once again, I'm inviting you to watch all Bexel Manager lessons available on my channel. As I said, link to those is in the description. And I'll be back in a few days with another Balkan Arctic tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.